In today's health alert, researchers believe they've discovered the cause of morning sickness. This is common in pregnancy. It's a symptom that varies in intensity among women and can be quite severe and debilitating. So joining us to tell us more, our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, and Dr. Nandy, scientists linking this to a particular hormone. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. This is a big breakthrough, I think, for a lot of people. I've seen many women, including my patients, struggle with nausea and vomiting. I'm sure you can attest to that, too. Mm -hmm. Now, research has found that morning sickness may be linked to a hormone known as growth and differentiation factor 15, or for short, GDF15. Now, it's actually produced by humans at very low levels in the body, and what it does is it sends signals to areas in the brain that are responsible for having nausea and appetite. But when a woman becomes pregnant, this hormone can be found abundantly in the placenta. It appears that the growing baby in the womb is producing these higher levels. And women who are more sensitive to GDF15, they end up sicker. In fact, after researchers study a group of women at a maternity hospital, they found that some with a genetic variant had low levels of the hormone. And this increased their chance of experiencing severe morning sickness, known as hyperemesis gravidarum. These researchers also found that women with a blood disorder called beta thalassemia had very little nausea or vomiting, and this is because the disorder naturally caused higher levels of GDF-15 in the body even before pregnancy. Wow, so could there be a cure to morning sickness in the future? Yeah, people would love it, right? This yeah. breakthrough, I think, definitely raises hope for potential treatments, Linda, and it's possible that blocking this hormone so that it does not reach the specific receptor in the pregnant woman's brain could become the basis for future treatment. That's exciting. Also, studies have already been done in, in rodents concerning this hormone, and mice that were exposed to elevated levels of GDF-15 end up losing their appetite, but that didn't occur when the mice had been gradually exposed to the hormone over time because they developed a tolerance. So exposing women to higher levels of GDF-15 before they get pregnant, well, that could potentially lower their risk of extreme morning sickness, particularly those uh, diagnosed with hyperemesis gravidarum. These women with severe morning sickness can really suffer from nausea and some end up being sick up to 50 times a day, that's, that's horrible. And they can lose weight and face electrolyte imbalances. They often end up in, in the emergency room as they need intravenous fluids to prevent dehydration. The illness is linked to premature delivery and lower birth weight. So if you or a loved one has morning sickness, please talk to your doctor. They may, there's anti-nausea medication, but treatment depends on symptoms as currently there's no one size fits all. But again, hey, this is gonna be great and a game changer for so many women who suffered. All right, I was lucky. 14 years ago today, though. Nice. Ah, my daughter's 14, you are lucky. so That's awesome. happy birthday. Baby. Oh, today? Yes. Oh, happy birthday. Thank you, Doc. That's Appreciate awesome. it. Be sure to tune in this weekend on the Dr. Nandy Show, where he focuses on strengthening the connection between parents and teenagers. The doctor and his guests help parents and teenagers break down communication barriers. That's this Sunday at 1 p.m., right here on 7.